Welcome back to Deal Unboxing and today we are going to review Linksys AX6000 MR9600 Mesh Wi-Fi 6 router. So in this in-depth review we are going to go over the features, Wi-Fi speed, coverage and performance test to see how well Linksys Wi-Fi 6 router performs in the sub $400 market of Wi-Fi 6 routers. So please sit back, relax and enjoy the review. Also please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon for notifications for the future videos. So let's do a quick unboxing. In the box we have Linksys MR9600 Wi-Fi 6 router, power adapter, network cable and a quick start guides. Now let's look at the specs. Router is powered by 1.8 GHz quad core processor, 512 MB RAM, 512 MB flash, Wi-Fi 6 802.11ax standard. Router supports dual band 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz with speed up to 1147 megabits per second and 4804 megabits per second. It's a 4x4 Wi-Fi 6 router. Router also supports Linksys Mesh Wi-Fi, OFDMA, MU-MIMO, WPA3. It also supports iOS and Android apps and cost $399 at the time of this review. Now let's look at the ports and design. On the back of the router there are 4 1 gig LAN ports, there are 2 USB 3 ports and there's a 1 gig WAN port for internet. There's a reset button and a power cable input. On the side we have WPS button and on the front we have a LED status light and there are plenty of ventilations on the top and bottom. The router has 4 external antennas and you cannot remove them. Overall build quality is solid and material is standard plastic construction. Now let's do Wi-Fi performance coverage and speed test. So we place the Linksys MR9600 AX6000 Wi-Fi 6 router in the basement storage room. It has concrete walls around it and it is in the lowest part of the house. For this test we are using Intel AX200 Wi-Fi 6 card. It's a 2x2 Wi-Fi 6 card installed in our laptop, which is capable of speed up to 2.4 gigabits per second. It's the fastest Wi-Fi 6 card available in the market. And we will also use iPhone 11, which also supports Wi-Fi 6 standard. So the total square footage of the house is 5000 square feet. I will be testing Wi-Fi connection in different corners and floors of the house to see how well Linksys Wi-Fi 6 router performs in terms of Wi-Fi speed and coverage. In this test we will use Fast.com which is powered by Netflix to perform internet speed test and we will also use iPerf3 performance test. So if you're not familiar with iPerf3, it is a tool to measure maximum bandwidth on the wireless or wired networks. Also we will use only 5 GHz channel for best performance results and we have our MacBook Pro connected to the router via Ethernet and configured as iPerf3 server. So let's get started. I have 1 gig Verizon Fios connection. And for the first test I have connected a MacBook Pro to the router via Ethernet cable. And using fast.com speed test, we are getting close to 1 gig internet speed. Confirming router can handle 1 gig internet speed, which is good start for this test. Now for the first Wi-Fi speed test, I have placed the laptop with Wi-Fi 6 card installed right next to the router. As you can see we are connected to 5 GHz Wi-Fi 6 band with speed up to 1.2 gigabits per second. Because router only supports 80 MHz channel and does not support 160 MHz channel. And using fast.com speed test, I'm getting 520 megabits per second download and 590 megabits per second upload wireless speed. And using iperf3 5 stream test, I'm getting 703 megabits per second bandwidth speed. Now let's run iperf3 test on iPhone 11, but we are going to use 5 streams instead of single stream. With iperf3 5 streams, we are able to get max bandwidth speed up to 758 megabits per second. Now using fast.com speed test on iPhone 11, we are able to achieve 480 megabits per second download and 210 megabits per second upload wireless speed. Now for the second test, I'm standing 30 feet away from the Wi-Fi 6 router in the basement with a couple of walls between the Wi-Fi router, iPhone and laptop. I have so far good Wi-Fi connection. First using iPhone 11 with the iPerf 3, we are able to achieve 647 megabits per second wireless bandwidth speed. Now let's run fast.com internet speed test on iPhone 11 and we are able to get speed up to 280 megabits per second download and 270 megabits per second upload wireless speed. Now let's move to the laptop with Wi-Fi 6 card and here we are connected a very good wireless speed. When running fast.com speed test, we are getting 480 megabits per second download and 380 megabits per second upload wireless speed. And using iperf3 5 stream test on laptop, we were able to achieve 497 megabits per second bandwidth speed. Now let's move from the basement to the main floor of the house and do a next Wi-Fi speed and connection test. Here I still have good Wi-Fi signals and solid connection. And using iperf3 5 stream wireless speed test, we are getting 637 megabits per second wireless speed on iPhone 11. And using fast.com speed test, we are getting 260 megabits per second download and 220 megabits per second upload wireless speed. On the laptop using fast.com speed test, we are getting 440 megabits per second download and 340 megabits per second upload wireless speed. 
and using iProf3 speed test, we are getting an average of 471 megabits per second bandwidth speed. Now I moved to the far left side of the house and close to 60 feet from the Wi-Fi 6 router, with the floor and few walls between the Wi-Fi 6 router, iPhone 11 and laptop. Here 5 GHz channel is struggling to keep the Wi-Fi connection on both laptop and iPhone, and switching between 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz channels. First running fast.com speed test on laptop, we able to achieve 230 megabits per second download and 110 megabits per second upload wireless speed. And running iperf 3 5 stream test, we are able to achieve 112 megabits per second bandwidth speed. Now at the same location, we are going to switch to iPhone 11 and using iperf 3 5 stream test, we are still getting 174 megabits per second wireless bandwidth speed. And using fast.com speed test, we are getting 120 megabits per second download and 22 megabits per second upload wireless speed. Now let's move to the far right side of the house and close to 30 feet from the Wi-Fi 6 router with the floor and few walls between the router, iPhone 11 and laptop. Here now we have good Wi-Fi signals for both iPhone and laptop. And using iProf 3 5 stream test on iPhone 11, we are getting 518 megabits per second wireless speed. And using fast.com speed test, we are able to achieve 210 megabits per second download and 150 megabits per second upload wireless speed. Switching to laptop at the same location using fast.com speed test, we are getting 370 megabits per second download and 320 megabits per second upload wireless speed. And using iPerf 3, we are getting 358 megabits per second bandwidth speed. Now let's move to the second floor of the house. Here we have two floors and few walls between the Wi-Fi 6 router, iPhone and laptop. Here we have very good Wi-Fi signal strength with solid Wi-Fi connection on laptop and iPhone 11. And using iPerf 3 5 stream test on iPhone 11, we are getting 720 megabits per second wireless speed. And using fast.com internet speed test, we able to achieve 230 megabits per second download and 230 megabits per second upload wireless speed. Switching to laptop, we have good strong signals here as well. And running fast.com speed test, we are getting 490 megabits per second download and 440 megabits per second upload wireless speed. And using iperf 3, we are getting 548 megabits per second bandwidth wireless speed. Now we are going to do a router's network ethernet speed test. In this test, we have both our iperf 3 server and client laptops connected to the router via Ethernet. And using iperf 3 5 stream test, we are getting close to 1 gig bandwidth speed as expected. Finally, I wanted to test the USB 3 read and write speed on the router. But apparently, regardless of the USB 3 flash drive format, either NTFS, FAT or whatever, router wasn't able to recognize USB flash drive. Even I tried both USB ports without any luck. Router gave me error message every time I tried to scan the USB ports for attached flash drives. I also changed the flash drives, but still no luck. Hopefully Linksys will fix this issue in the future firmware. And I updated the firmware to the latest available, which was at July 4th. Linksys router setup was very easy. All you have to do is download the router app to your Android or iOS device. Connect your router to your modem. If you have Fios with Ethernet connection, you can connect router's WAN port directly to the Ethernet cable and you don't need modem. Then just follow the instructions in the app to complete the setup. On the router's main screen on the top, you will be greeted with the information about your internet connection, Wi-Fi router and number of connected devices. And also Wi-Fi settings, Linksys home networking options, print and control and more. And on the left side, we have all the available router settings options. Starting from the top Wi-Fi tools, the list of connected devices, then guest access information, printer controls, device prioritization. You can also run internet speed test from the router. There's also external storage configuration option. And as I mentioned before, we had bad luck with these settings and it did not work and failed with error every time we tried. Then you have more router settings, first connectivity options with some basic settings, internet settings, local network options, advanced routing, and administration settings. Under wireless settings tab, you can create a single SSID for both 2.4 GHz or 5 GHz channel, or keep them separate. Router offers WPA3 options, but unfortunately router does not offer to change the Wi-Fi mode for both 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz bands, and there are no options to select the Wi-Fi channels as well. As mentioned before, router does not support 160 MHz channel, which is extremely disappointing. Under Wi-Fi settings, you can also select MAC filtering and set up Wi-Fi protected setup, and also there's some advanced setting options. Since router is a mesh router, you can add additional router to create Linksys mesh setup. And there's some advanced options for mesh networking to choose from. But every time we try to make the changes in advanced settings, router gave us error message. So there's some bugs needs to be fixed in the future firmware upgrades. In the end, under security settings, you can set up firewall, DMZ, and control apps and gaming options. Overall, router give you standard Linksys settings. If you own Linksys router in the past, you will find it very familiar. But you don't have to set up all these settings if you're not a power user. You can leave everything to default or use Linksys app to complete the setup. Let's do a final summary. Overall, Linksys Wi-Fi 6 router did perform okay in this review. 
not the best for AX6000 category, but Router offers good hardware with industry standard 1.8 GHz quad core CPU for AX6000 category. Router has OK Wi Fi coverage for AX6000 category and would be able to cover 3000 square foot house without any problem. Even though I was testing in 5000 square feet house, Router can handle 1 gig internet speed as well. But there are a lot of issues with the Router starting with the firmware issues and there's no 160 MHz channel support, which is key feature for latest Wi-Fi 6 speeds in my opinion. There also lack of options to select Wi-Fi modes and Wi-Fi channels which is also a huge negative in my opinion. Router also failed to read USB 3 flash drives. Price at $399, this router is one of the most expensive dual band Wi-Fi 6 router in the market. And at this price point, it is competing with tri-band Wi-Fi 6 routers. And on the top, it is missing a lot of key features and firmware problems are not going to help. That is why I cannot recommend this router at this point. And hopefully Linksys will fix all these issues in the future updates. Let me know what you guys think of Linksys AX6000 MR9600 Wi-Fi 6 router in the comments below. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for notifications for the future videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.